Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, where in this video I'm going to be looking ahead towards what is a big game for us this Sunday, half one kickoff against Aston Villa. Last time we played Villa, a 3-0 victory at Villa Park, that was a big, big game for us in all honesty. It was kind of the first convincing performance that we'd had of the season, and Villa at the time were actually playing some very good football. They were actually flying high at the top of the table, surprisingly to some. I mean, they weren't obviously top of the league, but they were there and thereabouts. Was very early days in the season though, and I think we've seen the kind of predictable Villa come out of their shell a little bit. But right now, they are just in an absolute rut. They are. This is a poor Villa side, I can't stress that enough. Although I want to give them all the respect that I can, there's no getting away from the fact, there's no sugarcoating the fact that they have been poor the last 10 fixtures or so. They really do struggle to score goals. Christian Benteke looks like he's trying to do everything on his own, but it's very, very typical that they've got a lot of key and influential players coming back into the side for their game against us this Sunday afternoon. A lot, the likes of players such as um, Gabriel Bongahor, Fabian Delph, Ron Vlaar, Joel Co Joe Cole are all coming back to the side. Influential players for them. Joe Cole, an experienced player. Players that they're going to need in a game, a big away game away from home. And considering they've got a 2-1 win over Bournemouth in the FA Cup, which I think has come to the surprise of many people considering they were playing so poorly, and now they've got a 2-1 victory against Bournemouth, who have been playing some very good football in the Championship, they're going to go into this game on somewhat of a high, and considering they beat us 3-1 at the Emirates last season against very peculiar circumstances, I think they're going to go into this game with a little bit of confidence behind them, but there is no getting away from the fact that we should be beating Villa about 2 or 3 nil at least in this game. I do feel confident going into this fixture because, quite frankly, the way we've played against Brighton and Man City, as well as a couple of other fixtures that we've had, we're on a very good run of form at the moment. We've got a lot of competition for places in the squad. Our team looks very, very healthy at the moment, despite a couple of injuries to key players. I think we should come out of this game with a comfortable victory, and it's another opportunity for us to get a good three points under our belt. I think the main talking point, of course, is going to be Arsenal in this preview. I could tell you everything about Villa, but to be honest, I've already previewed this game this season. I don't want to be repeating myself. You know who their danger men are. Fabian Delph, Gabriel Bonahor, Christian Menteke, Andy Vyman. And um, obviously, the one thing I do want to brush up on them is that they brought Scott Sinclair into their side. A player that has been had very, very limited opportunities at Man City over the past couple of years. I say limited opportunities. We're talking about like two opportunities he's had at City. He's barely played for them. I don't even know if he's made an appearance from this season. But he's got a good chance at Aston Villa. He's going to want to make a point to to Man City, his employers. He's going to want to prove a point at Aston Villa. He's going to have. A, he, I, you can almost guarantee he's going to play like Cristiano Ronaldo or saying on Sunday. But he's going to be a danger man to watch. Very pacey. Got a lot of skill about him. Be interested to see how he performs after having such a you know lengthy layoff on the sidelines. Not that he's injured, just that he's not been playing so it's going to be um, interesting to see how he performs in this game certainly and certainly a player that we're going to have to uh, possibly man mark in this game one player that I'd certainly um, pinpoint as a player that could cause us a few problems but focusing on Arsenal it's going to be interesting to see how we line up in this one because we've just got so many, so much competition for places at the moment and the, of course Alexis Sanchez got a slight hamstring injury I would not even consider playing him in this game considering that we've got a North London derby next weekend wouldn't even play him I wouldn't even have him on the bench I would drop him completely give him a week's rest and have a fully fit and fresh Sanchez for the game against Spurs next weekend Alex oxlade Chamberlain also injured a good opportunity for Theo Walker to get a place in the team same goes for Moza Ozil I don't want to see Moza Ozil utilised on the left hand side I think I speak for every Arsenal fan when I say that Tom Rzitzki I would like to see him start on the flank Possibly a 4-1-4-1 formation. This is just an idea that I've had in my head for the past couple of hours or so. David Ospina in goal. Hector Bellerin at right back. Mertzaka, Koscielny, Nacho Monreal, Francis Coughlin, Theo Walcott, Santi Cazorla, Moza Ozil, Thomas Rosicki and Olivier Giroud up top. I think Coughlin should do all right in the middle of the park on his own. I don't think it's the kind of game where we need to line up too defensively. I have dropped Aaron Ramsey because I personally don't think that we could, we're we in a position where we can afford to drop Santa Cazorla or Thomas Rosicki. They're playing some absolutely fantastic football at the moment. The other thing you could do is you could drop back into a 4-2-3-1. You could drop Mazza Ozil, bring Aaron Ramsey alongside Francis Coughlin. Another option is that we could play Santa Cazorla in the 4-2-3-1 formation, but alongside Francis Coughlin. I certainly think that's a, a preferable option because Cazorla surprisingly, he actually puts in a lot of tackles for us. And I think he, potentially he could thrive in that box-to-box -box midfield role, playing sitting, deep, uh, sitting deeper behind Mesut Ozil. I certainly do want to see Ozil start this game. I thought he played really well against Brighton. He's certainly got, a, um, got an opportunity here to make a name for himself in this game. Alongside Phil Walcott, I'd like to see them two playing together. Olivier Giroud as well. You know, I, I think we've got enough talent up top to beat Aston Villa. 
Defensive, defensive wise, we've got Gabriel coming into the side. Now, really, really excited. I mean, I haven't even mentioned him in this video, but Gabriel coming into the side, I think he's certainly a good defensive option to have. Like to Lauren Koscielny, he looks very pacey, very big, aggressive. That's what I really like about him. And hopefully he can be a revelation for Arsenal. Um, I think he's a long-term replacement for Per Mertzaka in all truth. I think him and Koscielny, Gabriel Koscielny, can perform, can perform and utilise a very good bond. Uh, that's something I'm looking forward to seeing. I mean, I don't know if I'd start Gabriel in this game. Leave your co leave in the comments below if you'd like to see Gabriel start the game. But personally, I'd like to have the utilised partnership of Mertzak and Koscielny. Maybe bring Gabriel, Gabriel on for the last 20 minutes of the game, but I think he's a good sign to have. It, it allows us to have a lot of depth um, in the back line. Hector Bellerin, of course, I'd start him at right back. I think he's playing some quality football at the moment. Nacho Monreal, just edging it over Kieran Gibbs at the moment. He's been a bit more consistent recently. I wouldn't want to drop him. I don't think it'd be very fair on him. He puts in a very good shift whenever he has played for us this season. And that's pretty much my team. And I think we'll come out of this game with a... A 4-0 win. I am feeling confident. I don't think Villa are going to trouble us too much. Of course, like I've already said, they have got players coming back into the side. A Bong Lahore, Delft, etc. Players that can cause us problems. Scott Sinclair, like I've already said, the only player that I think we can man-mark in this game. Francis Coughlin, I think he's going to deal with whatever is thrown at him. I think the defence should be able to cope. And I think it'll be comfortable for us. I do feel... I'm not overconfident, but I do feel... I do feel confident considering we're at home. I think I have the right to feel confident. Of course, I'm not underestimating Aston Villa in any way, shape or form. They're a Premier League outfit, but they are a poor outfit at this moment in time. So we should be having the beating of them with the talent that we've got going forward. Anyway, here's to another good performance from Arsenal. Fingers crossed. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Do check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. And as always, thank you very much for watching, guys.